This decade saw Hollywood focus on sci-fi, action, comedy, and franchises. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today, in this installment of our series on the greatest movies of all time, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies of the 1980s. <laughs> For our series of the best movies of all time, we've chosen 10 movies per decade based on their iconic status, critical acclaim, box office success, and watchability. And just so you know, we're not necessarily choosing the movies your film studies professor would pick. So sit back and relax as we wax on, wax off, Kick some Aussie ass and turn this list up to 11. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. Saddle up! Lock and load! Number 10, Platoon. Hey, white boy, what you waiting for? That hole ain't gonna dig itself. Oliver Stone's gritty Oscar winner Platoon swarms with great characters tension, and the horrors of war. As young and naive soldier Chris Taylor makes his way through Vietnam, he discovers two things. One, his existence in this war is pretty insignificant, and two, there's massive moral duality between his fellow soldiers. The morale of the man is low. A civil war in the platoon, half the men with Elias, half with Barnes. After a village is mercilessly slaughtered, Taylor must decide what kind of man and soldier he wants to be, making this one of cinema's most effective war movies. Do it. Get away from her, you bitch! Number nine, Aliens. I only need to know one thing where they are. Released seven years after the chest-bursting original, James Cameron's Aliens sees the planet of LV-426 colonized by the acid-bearing, tongue-torpedoing extraterrestrials. Eat this! With Nostromo survivor Ellen Ripley on board to assist a group of trigger-happy warriors, we explore every nook and cranny of the alien planet. And we're on edge every step of the way. The state-of-the-art special effects, intriguing characters, and terrifying alien beings all make this movie an unmissable one for gory sci-fi enthusiasts. Well, where the fu- I hate this. I like to torture him. Number eight, Ghostbusters. Hello, Ghostbusters. Yes, of course they're serious. You don't even have to believe in ghouls to love this Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis written film. When a group of scientists sets up their own ghost-catching firm, they patrol the streets of New York, defeating any slimers, demon canines, or giant marshmallow men that may get in their way. It's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Not only are the ridiculously far-fetched scenes entertaining, but the chemistry between these scientists, pardon the pun, is intoxicating. Everything was fine with our system until the power grid was shut off by Dickless here. They caused an explosion! Is this true? Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. <laughs> Number seven, Die Hard. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. It's shoeless Bruce Willis versus German Alan Rickman. Seriously, what's not to love? yippee ki When New York cop John McClane goes to visit his family at Christmas, he unwittingly walks into the web of a bad guy gang, led by Rickman's Hans Gruber. Oh, well, well. Hans. Managing to slip out of their grasp, McLean slithers around the building, taking them out one by one, spawning sequels galore and inspiring imitators for years to come. Oh, but watch out for that glass, John. Glass? Who gives a shit about glass? Number six, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. <laughs> Ah! 
with timeless concepts about friendship and exploration. Steven Spielberg's E.T. is the story of an adolescent boy who discovers an extraterrestrial in his garden shed. See? Car. Hey! Hey, wait a second! Oh! You don't eat her? With young Elliot and the alien worlds apart when it comes to communication, we watch as they teach each other new tricks and ultimately become best friends. E.T. phone home. Home, phone home, phone home. Elliot must then battle the odds to get E.T. back to his home planet, leaving us with warmth in our hearts and tears in our eyes. I'll be right. Here. Here's Johnny! <gasps> Number 5. The Shining Hi, Lloyd. Aspiring writer Jack Torrance is holed up in the snowbound Overlook Hotel with his wife and son when he falls victim to cabin fever or something. Whether you don't hear me typing, what the f*** you hear me doing in here when I'm in here, that means that I am working. That means don't come in. Spiraling into madness, we witness Jack Nicholson at his unhinged best as he talks to ghosts, threatens his family, and lets us know what all work and no play will do to a guy. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. Based on the Stephen King novel, it's an 80s classic with Stanley Kubrick's directorial fingerprints all over it. He gets a title shot outdoors in a ballpark, and what do I get? A one-way ticket to Palookaville. Number four, Raging Bull. <laughs> Delving into the finer details of boxer Jake LaMotta's life, this film explores the detrimental effects an aggressive personality can have on an Italian-American household. What's the matter with you? Don't you put the dishes so they don't fall down? Oh, get out. Directed by the genius hand of Martin Scorsese and with the Oscar winning Robert De Niro in the lead role, Raging Bull gives us a closer look behind the scenes of fixed boxing matches, domestic violence, sibling rivalry, and the day to day struggle of living the American dream in mid century New York. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Number three, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> this is the movie that made Indiana Jones a household name when it came to adventure epics. As we follow Indy in a race against the Nazis to reach the sacred Ark of the Covenant, we're met not only by elaborate landscapes, messy fight scenes, ancient trap rooms, and melting faces, but also by dry humor and multi-dimensional characters. Spielberg's Raiders set the benchmark high and left a legacy worthy of any treasure hunter. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Number two, Back to the Future. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Time travel, skateboarding, DeLoreans, and Nike sneaks. Oh, but it's so much more. Whoa, this is heavy. In the first of Robert Zemeckis' three Back to the Future movies, we follow Marty McFly as he travels back to 1955 when his parents first met, thanks to his eccentric friend Doc Brown's newly invented time machine. The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? However, young Marty's very existence is endangered when he finds himself in a love triangle with his folks. Whoa, wait, wait a minute, Doc, are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? What follows are weird parental scenarios, a bully beatdown, and some Johnny B. Good rock guitar. Before we unveil our pick for best movie of the 1980s, here are a few honorable mentions. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. 
Pardon my French, but Cameron is so tight that if you stuck a lump of coal up his ass, in two weeks you'd have a diamond. Where is she? Look, it may take a while. I want to wait. There's a bench over there. I'll be back. You want to flag this? Okay. Have a night with you. Come on. Okay. Do you want to play rough? Okay. No. Say hello to my little friend. She lays the boot on the table. Bartender says, I suppose you won't be needing a drink. Naked lady says, oh, shit! Laugh it up, fuzzball. <laughs> Number one, Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. Before 1983's Return of the Jedi completed George Lucas's original trilogy, there was 1980's The Empire Strikes Back. No, I am your father. Often considered the best film in the Star Wars saga, Empire sees lightsaber-wielding protagonist Luke Skywalker training with Master Yoda to fight Darth Vader's forces. Oh, impressive. The most impressive. But with Han Solo and Princess Leia taken prisoner, the Empire stronger than ever, and the temptation of the dark side hanging over his shoulder, it won't be easy. That boy is our last hope. No. There is another. Do you agree with our list? <gasps> yes! 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 What's your favorite movie of the 80s? For more thrilling top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The end.